Hey, welcome to the program. As you can tell, we are not in Celebrity Kitchens. I've got a special treat for you today. We're actually in the Young Chef's Academy, and we are at the location in Pike Creek. And you also have another one in Middletown, is that right? Yes, we do. Right. That's Middletown. Michelle Falla Hi. over there. She's the uh, proprietor and head chef here. Tell what plaza are we in, Greystone? Uh, we are in the Stony Creek Plaza right next to Goldie Beacom College. Okay. And with me in the middle here, I have, uh, shoot, I did a bad already. What's your name? Cameron. Cameron, right. And you're Steven. Steven. Right. And you guys are, you take classes here. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. What, what, is it fun? What do you do? We cook all kinds of sorts of things. We do different things every year. And uh, I have been here for a year and a half. Wow. And you're, you're freshly new to it, right, Steven? Mm-hmm. I've only been here, this is my third month. Third month. And you enjoy it thoroughly? Mm-hmm. Yeah? And, and have you learned a lot of things to cook so far? Yep. Yeah? What have you learned? Like just um, techniques? And also how to hold a knife we learned one night. Oh, very important. Very important. Okay. So, Michelle, tell us a little bit about because you do, look, I got two mics. You do so much more than the classes here. You do birthday parties. You also have a summer camp that's coming up. Tell everybody a little bit about what all we do here. Right. We have uh, a variety of things that we do here. We do field trips during the day for cool schools. We do birthday parties. We do camps. We're gearing up for our summer camps now. They start in June and they run through August. We have camps for ages 5 to 9 and 7 to 14, so it's a variety of ages. We break them into groups while they're here. And we have all kinds of themes. This summer is a kitchen mystery theme, kind of like uh, they're going to come in and solve the case of the missing recipe, and we're going to have all kinds of cool recipes for them to do. They, they always walk away with a ton of recipes. Uh, we do things like uh, Greek cuisine, French cuisine, Italian cuisine. All over the world, we have uh, one camp called the Melting Pot of Nations. We're going to learn recipes from Asia, Africa, Australia, all kinds of places. So the kids learn a lot. They learn how to cook and feed themselves. They learn about nutrition, and they have fun doing it. Oh, excellent. And now that's just the summer camp. That's just the summer. That's what we have lined up for the summer. But you all, stuff all year, all year long, long, you do yep. to the classes, yep. right, that yep. these guys do. What? After school classes, May is the last uh, month for, you know, and then we'll break for the summer. But this month they're learning about celebrity chefs. They're actually going to learn a recipe That's why from I'm here. Bobby Flay. Yeah, we have our celebrity stuff here. <laughs> Bobby Flay, we're going to do his red velvet cake, actually. That's our next recipe. And uh, so we meet September through May, and then we break for uh, the summer camps. But then also during the school year, we have all kinds of field trips come in from all the local schools. Yeah, and my daughter had a birthday party here is how and we found yes, out about you. Yes. And that was a lot of fun. That's I'm telling you, if, I mean, we'll show you a little bit. Of, but if, if you have, a, like, some young kids that want to come learn it, they did pizza, they did a birthday cake, they got to sing, all their friends had a great time. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, crepe cups. It's a breakfast dish, and we're going to explain a little bit more about that. We're going to take a quick break, pay for the show. We're going to come back. We're going to get started. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. If you're just tuning in, we're in the Young Chefs Academy, and uh, we're going to have a demonstration from our two friends here, Cameron and Stephen, on how to make breakfast for your family. So why don't you guys take it away? What are we going to do first here, Michelle? We are going to make our crepe batter. So boys, why don't you go ahead and get your uh, measurements out there, get it mixing in the bowl. Uh, they do refer to their recipe. Which, which is cool, because we were talking about that before. Like, they have a recipe, which they also get to take home right, when they're they done, do. so they can refer they to it. And also, by following a recipe, it teaches them something that every student needs to learn in school, how to follow instructions. Oh, uh, which is very cool. Yes. Uh, and, and math, too. And math, because we have our measurements, our uh, measuring our tablespoons, our cups, and things like that. So right now, Cameron is measuring flour the correct way. Uh, he's taking a stick and taking the top off there so that it's exact, an you know, it's actual. level. It's an actual half cup. Very good. All right. So uh, they're just going to get their ingredients ready, get their batter in that bowl. I'll get this out of your way. Yep, go ahead, guys. And we've got an egg to crack, right? Some milk to measure. Somebody can do that. Go ahead, Stephen, why don't you crack that egg? I think you go to the measure of the milk thing. Stephen, you want to get that egg cracked? And then Cameron, you want to get some milk measured and your pinch of salt? And I'm just going to kind of let these guys figure it out because most of the time during class, I am facilitating the class, the process. I don't want to give them all the answers or do it for them. Uh, we teach skills and we teach how to do things, but then we let them 
Self-sufficiency, yes. which is cool. So that they can go home and repeat the recipe without That's, me in the know, Which is good, unless you want to be at my house on a Sunday morning <laughs> That's fixing right. my breakfast. No, I don't, unless yeah. I get to eat it. Thank you. Well, that's why I'm bringing the kids. Okay. I, I will no longer have to cook breakfast for my children or myself that's because right. they'll be doing it for me. Exactly. See? And kids enjoy it. They're actually pretty good at um, getting everything done and then getting stuff in the dishwasher for you, too. Yeah. Oh. When they're part of the process, yeah. I don't know about the dishwasher part, yeah. but, you know, <laughs> we're one small step at a time. So we've added flour and an egg over to the big bowl. Now we got the milk. And Cameron's measuring uh looks like another tablespoon of milk. There Good job, go. buddy. What is it, a half a cup plus one tablespoon there, Cameron? Now can I have your lid and I'll get this out of the way. Alright. So now what are we doing? Throwing the milk in and the egg, or what do we do? Guys, what do we do next? Check your step. Okay. So we're preheating some butter. We're throwing the egg in. We're throwing the milk in. I'll go along with the recipe with them. This is cool. All right. They want to go ahead and get that mixture so mixing. Mix it on up. You need like a... Oh, no. We're using a whisk. It's a whisk. And we also need a pinch of salt. Did anybody get that? Let's make sure we get our pinch of salt when you're ready. Nice. That was literally a pinch. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix this up. Now you throw the melted butter right in there, Stephen, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This yeah. is cool. I like the recipes. Everybody that usually comes on the show that makes me just guess. This oh, really? It. No. Yeah, we. That, that's up. because the kids, they really need to be able to follow directions. And mm -hmm. it, it helps them in everyday life, helps them in school. You know, and when they come home and do their homework, why, yeah. did, why did you get this homework wrong? You didn't read the directions right. correctly. So this is kind of like, if you don't read the directions correctly, it's not going to come out right. Right. Okay, so what's next, guys? All right. So we, we've, we've made it. Uh, now, let's see. Did you combine your flour? With the egg mixture? Okay. Oh, we didn't put the flour. So, yeah, yeah right, because you Good call. look at your difference. It now. looked a little look ruddy for batter, you know yeah. But far be it for me to say I'm not so the same. So now we're getting, this is going to be our batter, right? Stephen, or Cameron, I'm sorry, is whisking that up. And it's going to get a little bit thicker. It's almost like a pancake batter, but, but our thinner. crepes are going to be thinner. Right, That's right. It's a crepe. They're going to be thinner. And then we're going to make a nice shell with our crepes and our muffin tins. We're going to put a nice filling inside. Them. Nice. Let's so, see. So the recipe says that we have to refrigerate it for an hour. So we'll take a break. Right. We'll come back and okay. pull it out of the uh, refrigerator. Okay. And we'll start again. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're going to throw this on the grill after it comes out of the refrigerator.